business finance interest rates can be a minefield to navigate. Some lenders might express their interest rate as an APR. Others might just tell you what the simple interest is. And then there's a factor rate, which isn't expressed as a percentage. But understanding the key difference is key to knowing how much you'll pay over the lifetime of the loan. Hi, I'm Peter Nicolau, founder of Peak Capital, an independently owned and operated commercial finance brokerage firm. Like any type of business financing, the money you borrow comes at a cost. Many people are familiar with that term annual percentage rate or APR, a figure commonly associated with credit cards and home loans. But certain types of business funding represent the cost of funding in the form of a factor rate. And some might refer to simple interest. As a business owner, it's good to understand what these different financial terms mean so you can comfortably compare product offerings and discuss loan options with providers. This way, you'll be in a much better position to make a decision on a loan product that makes sense for the future of your business. So today's video is all about understanding the difference between simple interest, APR, and factor rates. Let's start with simple interest. Simple interest is calculated as if the entire loan amount were paid off in a lump sum at the end of the loan term. It doesn't consider principal repayments, but most business loans have scheduled repayments that reduce the amount outstanding over the loan term. Let's say you take out a $100,000 business loan with a 12 month term and an interest rate of 15%. The formula is fairly easy to work out. You would just multiply the principal amount by the interest rate and the length of the loan. And that will give you the simple interest rate. So in this example, it would be $100,000 times 15%, which equals $15,000. This means that the total principal and interest paid back is $115,000. It's important to realize here though, that simple interest doesn't represent the true cost of a loan because it doesn't factor in time. It only tells you how much interest is due on the principal at a single point in time. It doesn't calculate the cost of repaying interest over an extended repayment period. The APR or annual percentage rate is different from the simple interest rate in the sense that it shows the true measure of the cost of money you are borrowing over time because it takes into account the reducing balance of the loan amount. Let's say you take out a $100,000 business loan with a 12 month term and an APR of 10%. The daily rate of interest is being accrued at 10% per annum and when a principal repayment is made, the interest is charged to the lower loan amount. This is what all banks quote for home loans and credit cards. The APR represents the true cost and all other interest repayments must be compared to the APR before making a decision. The other term you might hear about when taking out a business loan is the factor rate. Factor rate is a common method for pricing certain types of business finance, including short-term business loans. The first thing to understand is that the factor rate is not an interest rate or APR. The factor rate is expressed in a decimal form and is usually ranging from 1.1 to 1.5 times. For example, if the factor rate is 1.25 and you're borrowing $100,000, you'll need to repay $125,000. Now, you might think that the factor rate of 1.25 is equivalent to 25% interest rate, but this isn't the case. With this method, the fee is fixed from the beginning, so you will pay the same amount even if you pay off the loan before the term ends. On the other hand, typical business loans are based on interest over time. So the sooner you pay off a loan, the less you will pay. For example, if you had to compare it to an APR loan, if you get a one year loan with a $20,000 principal and a 25% interest rate with a monthly payment and monthly compounding, you will pay back 22,810. So the fee for borrowing the money is 2,810. This compared to $5,000 you would pay if you borrowed with a factor rate of 1.25 times. Why is it important to know the difference between these three rates? Well, knowing which type of interest rate you're dealing with can help you better understand the true costs of your loan. And that's important information to have before you commit to any loan. But look, as much as the interest rate 
APR and factor rate are important numbers worth knowing when evaluating a business loan, it's important to know that they're not the only things to take into consideration. There are other factors to consider, such as the repayment schedule, the loan term, your credit score, and the ease of acquiring the loan. So, don't just depend on the numbers, rather take a bigger look at the picture. Look at how the loan will be beneficial to your business and only then should you decide on the best option that suits you. You might also want to consider getting an experienced commercial broker on board who is going to leave nothing to chance and who is going to help you find a loan that is going to help you create more opportunities for business growth. If you're looking for a broker that will go into bat for you, please feel free to drop a comment below and we'll get in touch.